Remember last year? It was a pretty abnormal year for many reasons. However, from a certification perspective, the North Dakota seed potato acreage statistics were pretty normal for the 2020 crop. This is a graph of summer acreage across the years. The focus is the 2020 crop. The bar at the very right shows the 2020 crop acreage entered for the summertime in North Dakota. It's almost 15,000 acres. Now, after inspections, about 300 acres were rejected. They were rejected primarily because of the levels of potato virus Y. It's a pathogen that causes the most rejections in our system. Potato virus Y is also called PVY or mosaic. At harvest of the summer crop, growers collect samples from the accepted acreage to send to the annual winter test grow out. This is a very important part of the certification process and we primarily focus on those viruses like mosaic. These results that we get from the winter test primarily determine recertification eligibility and it completes data from the 2020 crop and transitions it into the 2021 crop. As I mentioned earlier, North Dakota seed growers sample seed lots at harvest and submit them to the Grafton office later in October. Our seed department staff meticulously check in those samples we stack them and then chemically treat them to break dormancy. They are shipped to Homestead, Florida in early November. Just prior to planting, the samples are dipped in a gibberellic acid solution to help stimulate growth and the plots are planted in mid-November. We return for inspection in early January doing two complete inspections and leaves are also picked from required and requested samples for serological testing against mosaic. Lab testing is done at our disease lab in Fargo. The inspection results from the winter test determine eligibility in our program for the coming year. We had 345 lots that were submitted this past year. It represents 7,411 acres from the summer crop. After the winter test plot inspections, just under 6,000 acres were eligible and about 1,400 were declared ineligible. Eligibility is based on a maximum of 0.5% mosaic. This graph represents acres on the vertical axle and the acres eligible are marked in blue. The ineligible acres are in red. They are also broken out by field year which is on the horizontal axis. Field year one is on the left, two, three, four, and field year five. The results are pretty normal. In field years one and two, all lots are eligible. These lots are most likely planted in isolated areas away from older seed and commercial production. But then, as we get into field year three, four, and five, we see increasing levels of mosaic in, in those seed lots. The greater acreage of eligible seed that we can get indicates a better quality seed for replanting the following year. This table shows percentages of acreages that are eligible and of acres which had zero mosaic found in winter test plot inspections. 
On the bottom line for the 2020 crop, you can see again the 7,400 acres that were entered and the almost 6,000 acres that are eligible. That accounts to 81% of those acres are eligible. And that's much better than the three years previous. And the next column is acres of zero PVY. This year we had 3,400 acres of zeros and that is 46% of the total acres. This also is much better than the previous two years. So the point here is our seed growers have a very good source of seed lots with zero or very low levels of mosaic to plant back for the 2021 crop. I'd like to review just a couple of points here. Again, 81% of our acres submitted are eligible for seed for recertification. That's a good number. Field isolation and management works, but we know virus spread eventually will occur. This is our estimate for the future crop. Of course, we'll do inspections in the summer. I did want to note that no blackleg or dickia was found. And all the information about a certified seed lot, including those winter test results, is itemized on a North American Health Certificate. This is a document that's necessary for entry into a certified seed program. Thanks to everybody who contributes to the potato program. I appreciate it. Let's go live to questions if you have any. Thank you.